This question is from Laura Young. Nabil, I read No God But One and ordered 10 copies. I have been giving them to my Muslim friends, but they all have the same response. They say you are incorrect about Islam after reading it. So my question is, if you had been given a book like No God But One before you had met David, would your response have been the same as my friends? Um, more or less, it's a journey. Um, <clears throat> so they're not going to agree with you overnight. Um, it took me four years to get to a point where I actually told David I agreed with him. A lot of times he would be giving me arguments that in my mind would think, hey, there's some weight to that, but I'm sure there's an answer to it. And so I would say to David, hey, you're wrong. And I would just leave it there. I wouldn't actually have you know, more. I wouldn't have more depth to my response. I just know that's wrong. It's got to be wrong. And it sounds like that's what your friends are saying. They're saying, oh, it just it's just not Islam. But he just doesn't get it. But the details aren't there. They're not actually responding to the argument. So if I were you, my question would be, well, can you please tell me how it's wrong? And can we investigate this together? Um, and, and you don't even have to do that antagonistically. I think it should be a process that you work out with them and you're researching with them and walk with them through their thoughts. Uh, I think it does take time. For me, the way it looked was I never... David, did I ever admit that you were right on an argument? Um, you would say, I, I, I can see that, I can see your point, I would see why you think that way, or something like that. But usually speaking, I wouldn't, I wouldn't end up, it would be... No, 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 every argument, you would, you would automatically, you would, you would, <laughs> you would, uh, you would go after the arguments, uh, pretty quickly, even if I thought it was slammed up. So, yeah, it, it just takes time. You just walk with them through the process, and it all came to a head for me, so it was more or less in the last few months before I became a Christian that I started admitting, okay, a lot of these arguments are problematic, and a lot of these issues with Islam are problematic. Uh, it happened, it, it came to a head, and then there were some massive tectonic shifts that happened. So when you think about earthquakes, there's additional stress under the, under the surface that just adds up, adds up, adds up. Then you have a massive earthquake where everything just shifts. And that's kind of what it was like for me right before I became a Christian. And uh, you get, we get similar questions like, uh, hey, you guys debate, do people come to Christ right after you debate? And, and no, if, if you're talking to Muslims, or really to Muslims especially, but it can be others as well, um, if you're talking to Muslims, you need to be in it for the long haul, right? Because, you know, you're talking to people who've been taught literally from the day they're born that Islam's the truth and everything else is wrong. And so the, the amount of things that they've been told that are, uh, make them resistant towards hearing anything critical of Islam or hearing uh, about any uh, ideology that's different from Islam, that takes a long time. And it takes Muslims a long time to get through that. So um, if, you, if your Muslim friends actually read No God But One, uh, that's a huge, that's huge positive step, right? Um, if, that, if, if the information gets into their heads, that's very good. Even if they were, I, I, would, I, I could have told you beforehand that they would be very resistant to the material. If you get the material into their heads, then that is a, that is a huge positive step. So I would just encourage you, encourage you to, to keep um, sharing uh, these kinds of things with your Muslim friends and interacting with them. And, um, you know, they might always have a negative response or they might, you know, things might eventually sink in. But if these things sink in, it's, it, chances are it's going to take a while, so don't get discouraged.